So summer is coming to a close and I wanted to end the season with my version of a hot girl summer transformation. We got a bright eye. We got nice bronze dewy skin. We got a pop in highlight. We got a nude gloss. All that I'm missing now is a bikini and a white claw. So let's just go ahead and get this shit started. So first off, I'm going to prime with Benefit Professional. I used it for the first time yesterday and I really liked it. Now I can see why everyone's obsessed with it. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer because I have a long day today. So today I'm getting ready to go to work and then after work I have a an event pool party to go to. And then after that I'm probably going to go out. So it's going to be a very freaking long and tiring day but I like to stay busy, so it's okay. And then y'all saw me testing out the new Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I ended up really loving this foundation, so I'm gonna be using it again today. But this time, I'm gonna try it with a beauty blender just to see like, if there's any difference or if I like it better. Yeah, I don't know why this color um is so orange out of the out of the bottle, but then it like changes into my right shade. It's really weird and I don't like it. That's probably the only thing I don't like about this foundation is that it does that. Like it's super orange right now, but give it like five minutes and it'll look normal again. I'm still using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Mine's in the shade Medium 28. Last weekend, I got back from New York, my trip to New York, which was pretty fun. It was super short. We were only there for three days because I had to come back and go to work. But I feel like it was honestly kind of like a quick little fun trip. Uh, so the day of, we have literally had to wake up at 4.30 a.m. because we had to leave at 5 to make our flight at like 6.30 or whatever. But one thing that was super pissed, like I always forget my headphones or like regular headphones whenever I fly because I always forget that... I always forget that, you know, airplanes use the old headphones. 
So this time I was prepared and I brought the old headphones, but this plane ended up not having any TVs. I was like, are we in the 1800s? Like what plane did not have TVs? But I mean, thank God it was early in the morning. So I just slept the whole flight. So when we got to New York, there's like a lot of construction at LaGuardia. So we decided to take an Uber. So when I ordered the Uber at first, it was like, okay, your Uber driver is 15 minutes away. We we're like, okay, cool. 15 minutes later, the Uber's still not here and it says 15 minutes away. And then like five minutes after that, the Uber driver called and is like, um, hey, my GPS is telling me it's 17 minutes away. So um, if you want to cancel and try and reorder, maybe you can get another, you know, get a closer Uber or something like that. So I'm like, okay, fine, we're gonna cancel. And then my dad at this point is like, is like so pissed off. He's honestly terrible to travel with. Like he's that dad that's like, we have to be at the airport at 5 a.m. when our flight's at 9 a.m. type of thing. And he's just very like anxious, I think, about getting to where we need to go. So he's just like, fuck it, order an Uber black. Cause like the regular Ubers, there was like, at least like a hundred other people trying to get ubers but then the uber black there's like one person waiting so he was like fuck it obviously he didn't say that but so i was like oh okay big baller so i ordered the uber black and then we were finally on our way to the city Like I've never been to Uvu Javar Black. So that was pretty cool. I felt like I felt like I was part of the Upper East Siders of Gossip Girl. Okay, so I'm gonna use Artist Couture as my highlighter today because only because in a hot girl summer you got to blind people with your beauty. Yeah, we're beaming today. Nope, need more. Oh shit. Okay, that was a little bit too much, but it's okay. Okay, so we're gonna get into the eyes now. I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Neon Palette. This is the orange one. This is the orange one, it looks like this. Okay, I'm gonna take this shade right here first and just blend that in my crease. So once we meet up with my cousin, we, like I've been to New York several times, but I've never been up to the Empire State Building. So that was just one of the things that I really wanted to do this time around. So we went to the Empire State Building and it's, there's just like an observatory deck up at the top. And so you can see like all of New York and the Statue of Liberty from up there. And it was just like a really pretty view. And then after that, we my dad wanted to see ground zero so i actually i went to new york i think 
It was either the year before or after. I don't really remember. No, I think it was after. But I feel like I've seen the Twin Towers. I'm not really sure. But so um, my dad wanted to see what the new Ground Zero looked like. So we went there. We saw the fountain. We didn't go like up into the museum or like the observatory thing. We just went and saw the fountain, which was so beautiful. There was even a rainbow across the waterfall. I was like, oh my God, that's so pretty. But it was absolutely insane just like seeing all the names around the, around the edge. And it was just really sad. Really beautiful. Definitely was glad we were able to see it this time. Okay, next I'm going to put this color over my lid. So after that, we went to go see the, the bowl like really quick because my dad wanted to see it. And that was just like super quick. Then we went back, we met up with my dad's friend and then we went to Penn Station to get on the train to go to Long Island. So I had never been to Long Island before. So this was like a really cool change of New York scenery. Cause you know, I've been to obviously Manhattan. I've been to the Bronx. I've passed by Queens, I've been to Brooklyn, but not Long Island. Um, so we were supposed to like go to the Hamptons, but we and didn't end up going because there was like hella people and hella traffic. So we were like, and eh, we'll just stay around here. Um, but we got there around like uh, sunset time and there was this beautiful freaking sunset. It was amazing because it's like the beach up along the beach so I just wasn't expecting that like New York you don't think of beach and so being in Long Island it's like this beautiful beach oasis and um, with like really pretty sunsets so I was like oh, this is pretty. and then lastly on my outer corner I'm gonna take this like hot pink right here so then it was already late so we went to bed and then the next day we went to Robert Moses Beach, I think it's called. It, of course it was all rainy and shit. Um, so it was like cold outside. And I'm like, um, I don't really wanna go swimming cause it's freaking cold and raining. The water was absolutely freezing and they have like huge waves but so it was way too rough for me and it was freaking cold so I didn't go swim so yeah I didn't go swim but a bird shit on me so that's pretty great the seagulls there are huge jungo and they like are not scared of you, so, but I was scared of them, honestly. And that's basically all we did that day. So the next day we had to leave to go back to the city. So we got back on that train, back to Penn Station, and then we met up with my cousin again just to go like explore some more. So after we checked into our hotel, we went to Central Perk and we just kind of like walked around the park and we went up this castle. I don't know, there's like a castle in Central Park and we went there and just like looked at the view from up on the castle that was about it so after central park okay 
Okay, this orange shade is like super powdery and it's giving me hella trouble because the color is not staying. Okay, cool. And then I'm just putting the hot pink on my lower lash line. So after Times Square, we took a taxi back to uh, Times Square. And they had like a little street fair going on, which was so perfect. So they had a bunch of vendors. Just like selling cool stuff and souvenirs so we just walked around looked at all the looked at all the goodies everyone had okay i think we're almost done with these eyes um and then last thing i'm gonna take this orange right here and put that on my inner corner so at the street fair, they had this, uh, there was this vendor who was selling like CBD products. So we stopped by his booth and I was just like looking at all this stuff. You know, he had the cream, CBD creams, CBD oils, and then he also had CBD gummies. And so... <laughs> Me, my cousin, and my dad, he was like, do you want to try them? And I was like, uh, hell yeah. And so we, we, all three of us, took the gummies. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's just like a CBD gummy, but it was still funny. Because if you know my family, like, you would know that they would, it, it's just not like them. The gummies were really good, and then he was just showing me other CBD products that he does have. I was looking on the table, and I'm like, oh my god, is weed legal here? And he's like, no, this is just CBD flower. And I'm like, what the hell is CBD flower? Literally, is just like, it looks like weed. I opened it up, it smells like weed. And I was like, and this is just CBD? And he's like, yeah. So that honestly just like gave me a really cool, fun idea. I wanna do a video testing out versions of CBD. So I'm gonna quickly line my eyes with just a black eyeliner and then I'm gonna throw my lashes on really quick. So mascara and lashes are on and all we have left to do is lips. And then I'm just gonna use my normal lip combo which is the NYX Lip Liner in Peekaboo Neutral and then the NYX in Butter Gloss in Madeline. This, the spray on this is like gnarly. Like my hair gets wet. Okay, so that is it for this hot girl summer transformation video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe before you go ho. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.